ni masuala ya pombe haramu, mihadarati na madawa ya kulevya ambayo imeangamiza watoto wetu kwa wingi katika taifa letu la Kenya. Kwa hivyo hapo atulegezi kamba the war on narcotic drugs, illicit alcohol and psychotropic substances is on relentless and timeless. We will not backpedal. No amount of destruction will change our resolve as government to make sure we clean Kenya from narcotic drugs, dangerous alcoholic substances, and all manner of drugs that have hurt our people. This is a serious national security matter. We are handling it as such, and we are not going to entertain any destructive conversations outside our resolve and our objective of having, having a, a cleanup in that space to make sure that our people are safe and whatever they consume is healthy for their health so that we can have uh, future generations to take over the management of the affairs of our country when the adults uh, are retired or they expire from the world. bangi na kokeni na vileo ambavyo avijapimwa vinaadhuru afya yao familia nyingi zime zimetekelezwa zime tekele, watu wanaume wengi wameacha maboma yao vijana wengi hawahoi hawahoi hawapati awa wake hawahoi wanaenda tu kupoteza nafasi pale siku nzima kukunywa bangi kuvuta bangi na kukunywa vileo vya sumu hiyo kazi tupambane nayo na tutaanza rehabilitation centers in every county ya kusaidia wale ambao wamekuwa waraibu wa e, mihadarati vileo haramu na vile vile e, mambo ya madawa ya kulevya na hiyo kazi tunaendelea nayo vile vile um, kuna vijana vikundi fulani za usalaba wa wananchi sehemu ya Busia sehemu ya Bungoma Vihiga na sehemu nyingine hapa Kakamega kuna vijana ambao wamekataa kujitafutia riziki kama wengine wanajisingizia hawana kazi wanaenda kuiba kuua na kuchukua mali ya wengine I have directed the security agencies in this region and in these counties which are affected to crack down on all criminal gangs to make sure that we neutralize the threats of armed robbery and other criminal activities that are being experienced in parts of this region. Niseme ya kwamba ili mwananchi aendelee na shughuli zake za kawaida za kujenga taifa na kutafutia familia yake riziki lazima kuwe na usalama wa kutosha kweli si kweli kweli si kweli kwa hivyo sisi ambao ni walinda usalama tuko na jukumu kubwa ya kuhakikisha kwamba wakora majambazi wezi awatatizi shughuli za watu wetu wa mama wetu vijana wetu wazee wetu na watoto wetu vile vile tumesema ya kwamba hili tuwe na uhakika ya taifa letu kuendelea mbele siku ya kesho wakati sisi tumeondoka ni lazima watoto wetu wote waende shuleni kwa hivyo ma chiefs assistant chiefs ma DCC kila 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 mmoja wetu katika eneo lako tukipata watoto ambao ni watoto wa umri wa kwenda shule na waendi shule lazima utajibu na uta, lazima utawajibika we want our children to go to school that is where they will be prepared to take over nation building activities when the current generation exits from the scene all children must be in school without exception vile vile tumekuwa na ajali and i think the problem of uh, road traffic accidents is becoming a big problem uh, we've been losing many people including here in western kenya and also 
other parts of the country. You're aware yesterday we lost uh, close to uh, 16, 17 people in uh, two different accidents. One in Bomet, we lost five people. Another one in Voi, we lost uh, 12 people. Road traffic accidents are becoming a major killer in our country. In fact, road traffic accidents are now equal to their epidemics that we've had before. In other words, nimesema, ajali za barabarani, wale watu wetu ambao tunapoteza barabarani, zimekuwa nyingi katika taifa letu la Kenya. Tumepoteza watu wengi. Mwaka uliopita, tulipoteza watu elfu tatu bia tisa, 3,900. Mwaka uliotangulia, 2022, tulipoteza watu elfu ine na miasita. Kila mwaka, takriban watu elfu ine wanakufa kwa sababu ya ajali za barabarani. Na wengi, maelfu, wanaumizwa, wanakuwa vilema kupitia hizo Aba, eh, bara, eh, ajali za barabarani wengi wamelazwa hospitali familia zao zimeuza mali wameuza kila kitu kwa sababu wamekuwa vilema kwa sababu ya ajali ya barabarani time has come for us as a country to crack down on all the errant drivers to crack down on all unroadworthy motor vehicles and also to enforce the traffic laws of our country to the letter to avoid these needless deaths. Today, road traffic accidents are competing with epidemics in terms of the number of people that we are losing. Between 2020 and 2022, we had COVID-19, a terrible epidemic. In those two and a half years, between 2020 and 2022, the people who died out of COVID-19 were 4,600 people in two and a half years. Yet, in one year alone, 4,000 people are dying out of traffic accidents, meaning this problem of road traffic accident is worse off than even serious epidemics like COVID-19. And therefore, I have had a discussion this morning with my counterpart, the Cabinet Secretary for Transport. And between us, the National Police Service Traffic Department and the National Transport Safety Agency, NTSA, we must come with a program to rein in on the problem of road traffic accidents and force the law and make sure that we bring down the numbers of our people that we are losing every year through road traffic accidents and the number of our people that are getting injured and are wasting critical family resources in hospitals because of road traffic accidents. Kwa hivyo, ilikuwa nasema Lazima tuheshimu sheria za barabarani kama we ni mwananchi ukitembea barabarani vile vile heshimu sheria za barabarani usiwe ukaumizwa na gari. Ma driver wetu wa boda boda vile vile. Wawe waangalifu wasiendeshe boda boda kiolela kwa sababu maisha yao na maisha ya abiria ambao wanabeba na maisha ya watu wengine wanaotumia barabara inawategemea hao wenyewe. Na wakati tutaanza hii utaratibu wa kudhibiti usalama barabarani. Vijana wetu wa boda boda msianze kupiga kelele ati mnaonewa. Kwa sababu lazima uheshimu ile barabara ni mahali pazuri pa kukusaidia kusafiri lakini vile vile ni mahali pa hatari. Unaweza poteza maisha yako hapo, unaweza poteza maisha ya watu wengine. So we will be merciless on everyone, motorists, drivers, border border riders, pedestrians, motor vehicle owners, enforcement officials, all of us must work together 
and make sure that we bring down this uh, problem which is affecting our country. Askari wetu tujaribu tu tuwe na uzalendo vile vile wale maafisa wetu wa polisi. Uzikae pale tu barabarani kuokota shilingi ya msini, shilingi sijui moja kutoka kwa watoto wetu ambao hata hawana pesa. Kaa pale kulinda usalama wa taifa. Na kama kijana ame, ame, amevunja sheria andikiwe makosa. Lakini ati lazima atoe shilingi mbili alafu makosa inapotea wewe pia unachangia katika ile shida. Kweli si kweli? Yeah, if you are a law enforcement officer and instead of uh, booking someone who has broken traffic laws, you ask them to give you I don't know how much money and then the mistake the the, 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 the offense disappears. You are also part of this criminal organization that is uh, hurting our people. So to watch hiyo maneno tuwe wazalendo, tuwe wastarabu na nyinyi pia wananchi muheshimu maofisa wetu. Usiwe na madharau kwa sababu hao ndio wanatusaidia katika kudhibiti usalama wa taifa letu la Kenya. Mnaheshimu chief, mnaheshimu police officer, unaheshimu public officer kwa sababu ile kazi anafanya ni kazi ya umma, ni kazi ya ya kusaidia taifa lakini vile vile na sisi watumishi wa umma tuwe na heshima kwa wananchi tusiwagandamize tusichukue hongo tuwe wastaarabu na Mungu atatubariki na kazi zetu kweli si kweli mtaheshimu hao maafisa wetu mtaheshimu hao ma, ma, ma chiefs wetu na wao pia wawaheshimu si kweli tukiendelea hivyo taifa letu itakuwa taifa mzuri and therefore that area of uh, traffic enforcement i have called for a, an urgent meeting between ourselves in the interior ministry and the transport ministry so that the, the traffic department of the national police service and the ntsa can generate an urgent program to bring down uh, road traffic accidents in our country mambo ya kupigana na madawa nimesema kama wewe ni mtu ya kuuza bangi na miadarati kwa watoto wa taifa la Kenya siku zako zimehesabiwa kama wewe ni afisa wa polisi na umekaa station moja zaidi ya makatatu lazima uhame lazima uhame na sio tafadhali that is a national security program and it has to be complied with every officer who has served for more than three years in one station must leave i have directed the county team here led by the county police commander and the other heads of agencies to make sure that all officers who have served for more than three years in kakamega county and are still serving they must leave as soon as possible na mimi nataka hiyo report ya mahali tumefikisha not just for kakamega all the other counties in kenya kama mtu amekaa ofisa umekaa hapo 3 years tutakutafutia station nyingine uende ukahudumie watu ya Kenya kwa sababu umekaa pale umejawa na kiburi unaanza hata kudharau wakubwa wako kwa sababu umejuana na kila mtu hapo umejuana na wale wanauza bangi umejuana sijui na nani hapo sasa wewe uta, utafanya mambo ya kutekeleza sheria namna gani kama wewe umejichanganya na mambo ya pale wengine wameoa wasichana hapo kwa, kwa kijiji sasa uko na father in law hapo uko na sijui na nani sasa we ni afisa wa polisi ama you are a villager you just a villager because you can't enforce the law against your father in law how can you enforce the law against your father in law si ni ngumu si utaogopa kunyang'anywa msichana so <laughs> so so lazima tuendelee namna hiyo lakini tumesema pia mheshimu officers wetu na tumesema vile vile wewe kama ni mtumishi wa umma ambayo uko katika vitengo vya usalama wa nchi maofisa wa ngao maofisa wetu wa polisi maofisa wale wengine kama KRA na KEBS ambao wanapeana leseni za mambo ya vidhaa vya pombe kama wewe ni mtumishi katika idara hizo zote 
na wewe uko na biashara ya pombe ama mvinyo lazima ufunge hiyo biashara ama uondoke kazini Sijui kama tumeelewana Watumishi wa umma wote ambao wako katika idara zinahusu maneno ya kutekeleza eh, sheria law enforcement agencies ngao police caps kra because they are the ones who give certifications and licenses those officers serving in those law enforcement agencies including the anti counterfeit agency if you own a business establishment in the industry of alcohol you must shut the business and start a new business a different business or alternatively you must leave service kama utaki kufunga hiyo ba yako bas utoke kazidi sasa uchague kama ni ba ama ni kazi si namna hiyo unakumbuka ile maneno ya money of the box ile money of the box so ba ama nini ama kazi because it brings conflict of interest if you are a law enforcement officer and you have a business in the same industry that we are trying to clean up 